Hello, my stampy friends. Danny Garola here with Double D's Stampin' coming to you from the hot deserts of Tucson, Arizona. Boy, has it been a hot one. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here to help you with all your stamping needs. So, this is video number two of Fun Day Monday. So, to get started, let's do the announcement for the video number one of the Christmas card that we made and it is Anna Marie Bell who has won this it will be coming to you just like this I will tuck it here inside of this cute little pink envelope because of course anybody who knows me knows that pink is my color so there you go I will get in touch with you and get your address and get this mailed off to you so then you can send this cute card to somebody you like or somebody you know maybe maybe somebody you don't like I don't know okay so let's get started with today's card I've decided to do a really cute little fall card using um, a set that I really contemplated with getting out of the catalog so it's in the new mini catalog it is this gilded autumn uh, set here just love the papers but I was like oh my gosh I'm not good at making fall cards I don't mail out fall cards to people unless you win them on here so but then I saw this and I thought oh how cute would that be to get the your kids's or grandkids picture in some leaves or some cactus here if you live in the desert we don't have leaves unless we you know drive up to the mountains but I just thought that was just adorable so I was like okay I have to get this set so I went ahead and I got the paper and I got the bundle and then I got the ribbon here so today we're gonna be using the stamp set and then one of these little punches we're gonna be using some of the paper and I'll show you the paper because it's really cool and that's why it's called the specialty design series paper because of the fact that it has copper and and gold foil um, intertwined in the um, colors here and very oh they're just so shimmery and shiny and beautiful and then we're gonna be using this uh, metallic ribbon uh, right down here so let's get started so the first thing we're going to need is our um, our card base for this so this is 11 length is 11 by four and a quarter so I pretty much took a regular sheet of 11 by eight and a half piece of paper and I cut it in half portrait style then you take it inside of your cutter actually this way and you will score at five and a half and at nine and a half so that that's that okay then you're going to get out some early espresso and you're gonna cut your big piece at five and one eighth by three and one half that's a piece of early espresso you're gonna get another piece of early espresso and cut it at four by two and three quarters then for your designer series paper I chose these little leaves here you've got Cajun craze early espresso mint macaroon and your uh, what is this called crumb cake with the background of being uh, very vanilla there is that foily shimmer that I was talking about that is on this mint macaron. It's got the gold foil. This is cut at three and three quarters by two and a half. Now when you have a piece of paper that has a pattern that goes back and forth, make sure when you cut it that it's going to be sitting the way that you want to see it. Okay, so there's that piece. Then all I did was take this piece of designer series paper, flip it over, and then I cut this piece at four by one and one quarter. 
Then you'll need a piece of very vanilla cut at four, four and seven eighths by three and one quarter. You're going to need a scrap piece of very vanilla. Then you're going to need a piece of mint macaron cut, doesn't matter the length, at one inch. And then a piece of very vanilla cut at three quarters of an inch. Length doesn't matter right now. Okay, so let's get this thing put together. We're gonna need our bone folder here because we're gonna need to varnish some of these. Let me get my notes off of here because you don't need those anymore. We need to come in here and varnish these score lines. Now this line here is going to come towards you. That would be your nine and a half line. Okay, then our two small pieces can be set aside, our scraps can be set aside. We need to have our early espresso, which is our four by two and three quarters. It's going to go right there. And then our designer's piece, that is three and three quarters by two and a half. So let's put those together. Making these cards for these fall just get me so excited for you know, the crisp air coming, especially since it's been, oh my goodness, it has been so hot here. We haven't had our monsoon weather like we normally do. It's just been, ugh, just horrible, hot and sweaty, and you just stay in your house in the air conditioning, because what else do you do in this kind of heat? Okay, this is your four by one and one quarter. This piece is going to get laid right here. Watch your margins. Okay, this we can go ahead and stick down. This is going to stay towards the bottom of the card because this will get stuck down once we wrap our ribbon around it. We're going to take our ribbon, make sure we pull enough to know that we can tie a knot. I'm going to pull this piece around. piece of ribbon. Ay, ay, ay. This ribbon's stiff so it's hard to get it to curl down inside to actually... There we go. I got it. Okay, that's gonna sit just like that. Straighten that out a skosh there. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and since that is already tied, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in here and then pull this over and adhere it down. Kind of make sure that's somewhat straight in between before this thing completely adheres itself down. Today we're going to be using something that's different when it comes to stamping. We are going to be using the Stamparatus, which I don't think I've shown you guys yet, but 
I just put in an order for a couple of stamp pads because my early espresso has decided that it doesn't want to work and I'll show you exactly why I've had to decide to use the Stamparatus today. But it's something that's a new tool that kind of shows you what it is because when you see it in the catalog, you're like, what the heck is this Stamparatus thing? Okay, here's our piece of early espresso and this is five and one eighth by three and a half. Then we're gonna take our four and seven eighths piece of vanilla, uh, very vanilla, by three and three quarters and adhere that down to the early espresso. Okay, just like that. Okay, since you can kind of probably guess how this card's gonna go. We need to come in here and take just a little, little line down each side because we don't wanna get it too far in because that little piece here is going to go slide down inside. So to keep our glue just on the sides, just run our fingers down the sides here. Okay, just like that. Okay, that piece can now be set aside. We're gonna grab our Stamparatus. This is the stamp set that I was telling you about that we're using today. We're going to be using Have a Beautiful Day, Life is Better with You. Then we're gonna be using this leaf set here. I like that this, this set here has a two-step uh, stamping uh, part to it. First you'll put the veins of the leaf down, then you can stamp your color into it. So I'm going to show you how that's done. We're going to be using the stamp colors and stamp pads of Cajun Craze and Early Espresso. So like I was saying, my Early Espresso is not working very well right now. It's kind of making me angry. So since I just put in, put have my order put in, it is top thing on the list to order a new pad of my early espresso because it frustrated the ever living out of me. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down knowing, keeping in mind that I know it's going to get slid down inside of this card. So if I set this here and know that it's gonna slit, slide down, I wanna know that this piece is still going to be seen where it says, have a beautiful day. Okay, I'm going to come in with my early espresso. Now, if I know where I want that, what is underneath here? If I know where I want that, now I can take this and I can shut that. Just like that. And then lightly pick it up because it will stick to this. Then I'm going to come in with my stamp pad and I'm just going to stamp that stamp right up. Okay, now watch. When I show you the first image here, I will show you exactly why I have to order a new stamp pad. I've refilled this and I don't know what it is. The new pads are so much different. So when you order pads, you'll see the complete difference than these big bulky ones that I have from previous. Okay, see how this looks very light over here and then it got dark? Because I have the stamp apparatus and this is stuck exactly where I had it, I can now come back in here, ink this thing up again, get it nice and wet, hopefully. And I don't care that it's gotten on the outside of my thing because that's not going to ever touch my image. Then I can stamp back down again and know that it's perfect every single time. It didn't, it's not gonna move the alignment because it's there. Now look how much better that looks. It's nice and crisp now. I know that's perfect. I'm okay with that. Then all I do is I take my chamois, wipe this up a little bit, clean my stamp really quick, and my stamp apparatus, and then I pull that off, and that can be put away now. Then I'm gonna come in with a stamp set that said, 
life is better with you. And I am going to take this strip here, this very vanilla strip that I had, I'm going to push it up against there so I make sure this is straight. Magnet keeps your paper in place so it doesn't, so you don't lose it. And then when, because these stamps are extremely sticky, you don't wind up losing your place on your paper. Let me see if that is straight. Not quite. Okay, so I'm just gonna, these stamps are extremely sticky and they stick to your fingers. Okay, all right, that looks better. All right, now I'm gonna put this back down and pick that up. But like I said, it's gonna see it's trying to grab my paper. Well, I know that I had that bumped up against there, so I'm not worried about Maybe I just need to pull that. There you go. Because it lost its place. Then I'm going to come back in with my early espresso. Ink this up really good again. Go down. Okay. I'm just going to do it one more time just to make sure that image is nice and dark and printed up. Okay, there we go. Much crisper, deeper, richer color. That's what we like. If I'm going to spend the time doing this, I want to make sure that you can definitely read what I'm throwing on there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly wipe this off. The nice thing is, is as this thing, as you use it, and the more and more ink gets attached to it, because if I don't take that and wash it completely off all the way, it's going to have, you know, this stuck to it, but I can wipe that off again now that that stamp's gone. But this thing comes out. I can take that and go, now take it and wash it. Okay, so let's take this off of here. Then this can get put away. All right, that's going to get attached to that. So we're going to need, I think this is called build a banner, something like that. So I'm just going to come down here and just cut it about right there. This is our three and a quarter piece. So I'm going to put it right in the three quarter slot. Make sure it's tucked in there, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut that off. Now I'm going to take the one inch piece of mint macaron, put that down in there, make sure it's bumped all the way up and cut that as well. Now with this, I can come over here and cut that piece. line this up with my margins just like that okay and now I'm going to cut this piece off here set that aside along with my card over here now I'm gonna come in with a couple of those leaf stamps that I was telling you about and I'm gonna take my early espresso and I'm gonna turn the leaf like this and come in here and stamp just the veins to begin with two of those. Now I'm done with the early espresso. Come in with Cajun Craze. Now watch how beautiful this is. This was the early espresso and now I'm going to take my 
Cajun craze and put the body of that on top of there. Isn't that just rich and beautiful looking? Those colors are just amazing together. So fall, you know, makes me miss living, you know, up north where the, you actually get the leaves that change colors and the, you know, the crisp air feeling. I do miss that. I do miss that. Okay, now we're going to come in with the punch. Line this right up to that. Stamp, pull, or not stamp that, but punch that. Okay, line that one up, punch it as well. Okay, now you have both of those. Okay, now I'm going to come in with a small hole punch. And I'm going to hole punch the very end of that leaf. Just like that. Okay? While I have my hole punch out, I'm going to hole punch the small end here of this. I'm going to find the middle. We'll punch that. Okay, now we're going to run our little leaves through this little strip here. Ooh, just had to hit, wipe my hands with baby wipe. I could see that there's ink gathering up on my fingers and I don't want to make anything off colored. Oops, I forgot to also punch out the top of this over here. Okay. Now we're going to take this and thread it through right there. Okay, along with our leaves. Don't forget guys that you guys have the week to be able to share this video and write in the comments that you have shared it to have a opportunity to win this card. Just like Anna won today, the Christmas card from last week, you too could win this card. It comes right to your home, just the way it is, and you have the option to send it to whoever you wish, or just keep it for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna lightly tie this so those pieces can be moved around. Kind of manipulate this around a little bit. And my little leaves. Just like that. Okay, and then this little piece, let me get a piece of the ribbon cut here. I'm going to simply take that, push it in there. Maybe. And open that up. So, do you guys send out fall cards to family and friends? Do you send out thankful, you know, letters, cards to everyone, thanking them for why they are special in your life? I never have thought about doing it before, Thanksgiving. I'm normally in the middle of making Christmas cards by the time Thanksgiving's around, so I never send out those cards. But I look at this, and that is just gorgeous, elegant, 
makes me so happy to see those colors. There is your card. I have an envelope over here that I've already stamped for you guys. I've taken these leaves and I've just stamped them across there. That is ready to go. This right here, you will have to flatten it down in order to get that to be in there. Um, sometimes people say to take a piece of paper towel and um, kind of lay that over there so you kind of lose that um, bulkiness of it. Sometimes they might uh, have you put an extra, not a full stamp on, but they have the smaller stamps that are only a couple of cents that you might have to add to it for the bulkiness to be able to mail this. But I tried to keep it where I can push it down and kind of flatten it, and then it should be able to go right inside of a card with that's bare, there's no, not much bulk. Or I would turn it around and when I put the card in, I would put it this way. So the bulk is at the back, so there's no bulkiness to the front, and then the postal service normally won't say anything to you about that. So there is that card. I think it is just so beautiful. So enter to win by liking, sharing the video, and commenting that you've shared, and this will be sent to you if you are the winner. All right, thank you guys. If you have any questions, and if you would love to get mailed one of these new uh, mini catalogs, please get a hold of me, and I will put one right in the mail to you. This is only good through December, so you definitely wanna get your hands on this, and enjoy all these wonderful cards inspiration if you already have stamp sets this is wonderful inspiration for you to have all right guys have a great week and i will see you next monday